All right, guys, what is going on? Z Nation, your boy Terry Z here, and wanted to go over some of the craziest stuff I've seen IGG doing recently, man. So you get in here, and you can see, man, now for 100 bucks, I mean, you're able to get a stone skin, level 5. I mean, that's just disgusting. Level 5 faint new talent, and a level 5 brute force crest set, 20,000 fame, and all that mastery essence, which is just insane, actually. Um... Basically, all the ingredients here to get you a level 8 talent, pretty much, with that and the fame. and just I tell you, man, IDG has really stepped up the rewards for your purchases nowadays. I mean, all those blue crystals for a $20 package, plus you get Walla Walla. I mean, this is just, like, crazy. But this one here, man, really blows me away. 100 bucks, you get a level 5 in power. Now that one is where I'm kind of 50-50 on like, man, I really wish this in power was like up here in this like $100 pack. Like maybe take out the faint or something and put it up in there. But I mean, you get the level 2 cam rocks. That'd be the only thing I really need is the empower and the cam rock stones are nice, but I don't know. So kind of what I'm thinking, man, is guys, what do you think? Is it worth to do that? I mean, really, empower is going to be for your Guild Wars defense. So, like I said, like this video, and if I get enough likes, I'll think about it. I was thinking maybe if I can get like 50 likes on this video, and maybe what I can do is come back and purchase the empower. So I think that's a good thing. If we get 50 likes on this video, I think I'll come back purchase it later tonight for server reset and do a video on that we have 11 hours and 30 minutes as you can see right there counting down oh uh, yeah real quick wanted to show you guys my garrisons now um, I went through and cleaned up my greens and blues and the only ones I don't have at a seven are like my duplicates so I have two executioners so I got one executioner maxed out I got one not maxed out and that is the one here that's a duplicate but there you can see those are the destiny heroes so they're going to be maxed out there's my one good executioner that's my duplicate frost switch so when a new destiny comes out and there's greens and blues i will just go ahead and consume the duplicate green or blue that i have and there you can see destiny heroes maxed out there's my good frost switch maxed out and there you go as you can see maxed out garrisons pretty much so I just don't want to max these out because I know there's going to be a new Destiny Realm coming out eventually. And then I'm going to need another green or a blue hero so I can max them out then just get rid of the duplicates. So I got this one Executioner and I got this run, one Frost Witch right there. So those are my only two duplicates right now. I went back and consumed the extra duplicates I had and just basically put all my shards into getting the other ones maxed out. Put a hurting on the shards, I'm not going to lie. It took about 200,000 shards to get those heroes maxed out. So, yeah, plus the essence I had saved up. So, whenever I do get, well, I'm ready to come out with Destiny and the new stuff comes out, I'm going to have to use all the shards or basically just purchase one of these and max them out instantly with the mastery essence. So, that's the way to do it, too. But. Try not to spend, man, but I'm telling you, IDG is making it hard here recently. They're putting up some really good deals. I mean, I am just blown away. Like, the deals have never been this good on purchasing. Like, I mean, the bazaars and specials are really amazing, so I want to give a big props to IDG for stepping up their game, man, and giving us good rewards. So, that is just a good deal. Um, just the other quick rundown on my account you can see here. People said they wanted to see my um, altar and stuff, so... Here's just a quick overview. Currently maxing out that Dove Keeper. Um, we'll go through here. Just do a quick rundown. We'll look over a few heroes. What I got set on them. People said they really wanted to see an Altar review of my account. So why not? Now my question is. If I get the level 5 in power. Where does it go? Um, I know Michael with Empower would be pretty good on defense with the Deflect. Anubis is a good choice. Anubis is a really good choice for defense. Wall is a good choice, but I can't get rid of the Flame Guard, that's for sure. I mean, Athene's another good choice. I mean, so many good heroes that could be 
use. Now imagine like an, an empower Phantom King. He has no cooldown, so Phantom King's gonna be proccing like crazy. But most of the new heroes can't have their energy re reduced. So yeah, most heroes that ain't gonna really work. But I was thinking, man, on the empower like. How about like even Harvey Queen? She has a cooldown of two seconds. So if she has a level eight of eight in power, she's gonna be procking nonstop. Now, she reduces their attack and speed by 40%. So imagine if she's constantly procking and, and if her stuff isn't getting uh, dodged on, she's reducing their attack and their speed. So I mean, I don't know. I would really love to see a Harpy Queen with a level eight in power. And if she's constantly procking, it's going to make someone use troops like crazy for defense. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, Harpy Queen's an inter interesting hero, actually, with that. And my other thought process, I was actually also thinking Dread Drake. Dread Drake is another hero that could possibly be another good candidate for Empower because... He has a level 5 revite and fast energy recovery. He has a cooldown of 3 seconds. So the level 8 in power is going to make him proc and proc and proc. Now he stuns 10 targets at 10 of 10 for 1.5 seconds. So that could be very interesting as well. Dread Drake with Empower. He will proc every 3 seconds because that's what the cooldown does. It gives you, I think, 33% energy. So he would be constantly procking as you're trying to attack in Guild Wars, and that would be kind of annoying, I think, um, for Dread Drake to constantly be procking, and if he's hitting the heroes, to stun them. Um, I don't know, though. But I think some of the... Ob when people ask me who should Empower go on, my first option is always Anubis. My second option is Athene. And I'd love to get in, like a high-power... Um, like a level 5 Empower Crest set to throw on Michael for defense because, I mean, Michael does deflex. He has, he has like a built-in Flame Guard to ascend. He deflects 75% of damage taken. And he's good for other heroes as well to deflect damage. So, Michael out on defense would be pretty interesting as well with an Empower. So, I, I sometimes would try him with level 3, but it just ain't fast enough. I think 5 would be pretty efficient. Um, I mean, imagine a champion with a level five, level eight in power. He has no cooldown, guys. Champion has no cooldown. He would be the stun machine. But the problem is he's not auto proc, so he has to actually be attempting to attack someone. I don't think his health would be enough to survive, um, to be stunning someone. But it would be interesting to see a level eight in power champion, because he would be procking nonstop. Um, same with Thunder God. Same with Thunder God. Another old hero that has no cooldown that'd be proccing. I mean, you even also got Spirit Mage. Just another hero. No cooldown. Could be just proc, proc monster, man. I mean, just like disgusting. I mean, even Grizzly Reaper could be a proc monster. But they have to be attacking some. Some of those heroes have to be attacking. So, like, Anubis is a good choice because he's an auto proc. I've even mentioned before in other videos, I mean, even an Orc Spain could be good because he has no cooldown. So he's constantly going to be healing himself and restores allies HP. So Orc Spain's in it. I, I would just love to have a test account from IGG and put level 8 in power on these heroes. Double evolve, max them out, and really test them out. Man, that's really what I would really, really, really would like to see is some 8 of 8 in power heroes that you would not necessarily think to put it on. But trust me, I've been thinking about it, but it's hard to do that on your main account because you could go and do that and then you just wasted like all those resources and 100 bucks. So you really got to be careful when you're putting your money on the line for it. But if you're on a test account, that's exactly what it's for. You test it out and if it works, you put it to your main account, you know. So, alright guys, like I said, man, if you get me um, 50 likes... On this video, so pass it to all your guild members, friends, family, whoever. If I get 50 likes, I promise you I will purchase this here. So you guys have 11 hours roughly because I'm going to need to be back by server reset. So 11 hours from now to get the 50 likes on this video. So 
Oh yeah, guys, real quick. Also, man, I'm in a new guild. Uh, guild is Team Skelly, rank 199. Um, doing pretty good. So, things is looking pretty good, man. I'm excited. We had first and fortress feud. Our last guild wars, we had three. The reason for that is we merged like three or four guilds together. And we had just like two or three zeros kind of threw us off. So, we're, we're getting it worked out. Um, the Guild Wars before that, though, we did have first. We had a first Fortress Feud and a first Guild Wars. And then just this past Guild Wars, we got third only because of merging three guilds together. And everyone's getting adjusted to, you know, this guild was ranked like 500 or 600. And now it's in top 200. So, that is a big swing. And actually, we were down to like 149 before we kicked a couple inactives out. Um, and now we're back to 199. So that's a big jump, like 300 guild numbers we jumped there. So that is pretty big. So like I said, here you go, man. Uh, add my man Twitchin. He's the guild leader online. Or you can add me, TerryZ24. And we'll get you in the guild or do a video for you. So all right, guys, I'll catch you all next. And remember, Z Nation for life.